Hello my crafty friends. In today's art journal page I'm going to be using this leftover paint that I have in my paint palette. I finished a, another project that I will be sharing soon and I had this leftover paint and a few bits and pieces left on my desk and I thought I'm just going to challenge myself without planning anything to just create an art journal layout. I really love layering and texture so I'm going to add a little bit of that. I have a few of these printouts, they're just vintage documents that I've printed out off Pinterest. I've stuck a little bit on that and then this is a tag from clothing, it's actually a price tag from some clothing. I like that it's got a little punch hole where the tag was hooked on the clothing so it adds a bit of texture. I'm just adding very little just to give it a little bit of interest to the page. I'm gluing this down with Mod Podge and then I'm covering the paper and tags with Mod Podge too. This orange strip I used is just an off cut and then I cut a circle for another project and I'm sticking it down as is. I'm not thinking about it much, I'm just sticking, sticking it down and see how it works. I'd rather Mod Podge and I'm going to now add texture paste with a palette knife very roughly just here and there just to add a little bit of additional texture where the paint that I'm going to add later will change color over these areas. I dry this really well and I'm going to now start adding the paint. I start with my lightest color first in this case it's a gray silver. This is a metallic silvery gray acrylic paint and I'm starting with that very wishy-washy very watered down but it has a little bit of a luster once it dries. I'm not really thinking about where I'm putting the paint, I'm just letting the brush take it there. In some of the areas where the underlying texture is, the paint is pooling there and it leaves little silver areas which I really like. I'm now adding the darker grey. I dry in between the layers and add as I go. I'm adding a little bit of water to water down some areas and make them thinner, some areas I'm leaving a little darker, very roughly using my fingers to whatever feels right at that moment. I like white areas for contrast. Here I'm adding gesso with my finger on some of the larger areas to allow that to be the contrasting area. I'm not putting it on too thick, I do like the text of the book to shine through from underneath and I'm just blended into the adjoining colors to give it a smoky like misty look. The crimson color is next and I really do love this color. I don't want too much of it, I want it just to be a highlight I'm adding some on the side of the page with some water and as I spray from my water bottle I just leave it to run. I let it take its own path, it's going over some of the textures and doing its own lines and going into the grooves. I'm not controlling it too much, I'm just letting it do its own thing. I really want it to be just a pop of colour. I also love using black for contrast and I'm going to add a bit to this page too. I'm adding some at the top and doing the same technique where I just add quite a bit of water and just let it run to its own wherever it wants to go. I balance the black out at the top by putting some black in the bottom left hand corner too. I like, I like the colors to be balanced between the two pages. Once it's all dry I'm going to add some black splatter. I do love paint splatter and I use it quite often in my pages. This was a really quick page to do and it really was just using leftover paints that I didn't want to waste and a few off cuts that would otherwise be thrown away. I'm going to add some stamping with some black ink. It's just a script stamp that I have in just some of the plain areas. 
some wording to finish it off I have I was born original I love the color of the background which I think really matches the crimson at first when I stuck it down I stuck it at an angle try to make one one way one the other way and then it just looked lopsided so I've pulled the top one off and I re-stick it down a bit more straight so that it's aligned and that my dear friends is my art channel page complete I really hope you enjoyed this video and I do encourage you to give something like this a go. It's really fun to do and very, very relaxing and you get to use all the little bits and pieces that you wouldn't use otherwise. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button so you get notified of all my new videos when they're uploaded. I'll see you again soon. Bye.